Lola. I just wanted to do a one week update. I'm sorry. It's been two weeks since I had my tracheal shave. Um, my scabbing went down. Um, a little bit of the swelling went down. I'm still really swollen on the actual wound. Um, it's really red. Um, I still have some discomfort. Um, I feel like my throat is just a little bit sensitive. Um, but the weather's been weird and um, I'm a smoker so I kind of expect that. I've been icing my neck for two weeks um, and since the peeling and scabbing have went away I wanted to use some silicone um, gel pads. Now these are supposed to be like band-aids and they just won't stick to my neck. Obviously my neck has creases and it moves a lot but the scar away tapes just don't work for me. Um, I'm sure they work if I probably had them on like somewhere that was a smoother surface so I need to figure out another treatment. I'll show you some pictures and show you progress of what my um, incision looks like. Um, but I just wanted to check in and show you and give you a little bit of an update. I don't have another um, appointment with my doctor for another two weeks. So I'm just going to be healing for the next two more weeks. I've been a little bit insecure about my scar just because it's pretty obvious um, that there's a lot of discoloration and um, I, just, I just don't feel really like good about it but I know that it's a scar, it's gonna go away eventually, I just need to give it some time because it's a really fresh wound. If you guys have any recommendations for any kind of scar treatment um, or gel or any kind of silicone based um, ingredients, I know that's really important to moisturize the skin. I've been using Colonial Silver, which is a gel, um, on a daily basis, but I'm gonna have to find something a little bit stronger. I just wanted to do a little check in and I'm gonna show you some pictures soon. Uh, and I will talk to you about my next follow-up. Bye.